All right, welcome back. We are going to continue on with our pre-trip. We're going to start at the back of the truck, and we're going to start with our airline. And right here, the airlines are metal, so they're not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. As we follow those airlines, they become rubber, so they're not cut, frayed, dry rotted, or bulging. All right, and then we continue to follow them. We run into the glad hands. All right, that's right there. All right, the glad hands are not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Now, I'm going to take this off so that you can see, but it is not necessary when you pre-trip the truck. But inside the glad hands, right here, are the rubber grommets. And they're rubber, so they're not cut, frayed, dry rotted, or bulging. And at this point, I would say I hear and see no leaks through all of my airlines. Instead of saying it each individual time, I can just catch it like that and it saves me a few seconds. Now we're going to go to our electrical line. All right, it's not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws as we follow it. It turns to rubber, so it's not cut, frayed, dry rotted, or burnt. All right, as we get up to our electrical box here, we want to say we see no uh, electrical damage, no exposed wires. The electrical box itself is not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. And it is firmly seated and locked in place. Now, all of my lines, my airlines and my electrical lines, are not hanging on the catwalk. All right, that is a statement you must say. Now, uh, we're going to go to our catwalk and our steps. They're not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and there's no debris on them. From there, we're going to go to our truck rail, our truck frame, excuse me. It's not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Uh, there are no holes other than factory. There are no uh, broken wells, and there are no wells other than factory. Now, we're going to dive inside here. And this right here that I'm touching is the drive shaft. The drive shaft is not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Uh, the couplings are secure, and uh, we're going to talk about our U-joints and couplings at this point. Uh, they're not bent, broken, and cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They're properly lubricated, and there's no debris inside. All right. Now, we're going to talk about the trailer face. All right, that's this whole front section right here. That's the trailer face. Trailer face is not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, screws, or rivets. All right, and it is intact and secure. This is the trailer face and the header board. Put those both together, we can say the same thing. Not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, screws, or rivets, and it's intact. Now we're going to slip right on along to the side of the trailer. Side of our trailer is not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, screws, or rivets. It has DOT tape, which runs the length of the side of the trailer. And our DOT tape is not chipped, cracked, or peeling. Right here, I'm going to jump down and catch. This is my splash guard. Splash guard's in the front. Mud flap is in the back. I'm going to put them both together. They're not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. All right, now we're going to start working the next axle. Every axle that we hit, we have to work brakes and suspension. Every axle has it. All right, so now we're going to go inside here. And you're going to see me touching the brake hose. All right, the brake hose is not cut, frayed, dry rotted, or bulging. I hear and see no leaks. That runs straight down to the brake chamber and locking ring. The brake chamber and locking ring is not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Uh, and I hear and see no leaks. Now, when we get to this axle, the slack adjustment push rod, which is on the back, but it's upside down. From here on out, it'll be upside down. It won't look like it looks on the steer axle. All right, but it's still the same component, so we call it out the same way. And back here, I have my slack adjusting push rod. It's not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's at a 90 degree angle with the brakes off. It shouldn't move more than one inch. And my cotter pins are intact. Now, from here, you're going to see me point inside the tire to the brake lining. 
All right, the brake lining is not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Uh, there's no excessive wear, not excessively thin, and no oil or grease. Then right on the other side of the brake lining is the brake drum, not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Uh, the brake drum is no oil or grease and no wells of it in factory. That is my brake system. So now I'm going to go to my suspension. Sp suspension back here, a little bit different. We'll talk about it. We're going to start right here with my front spring mount. And the rear spring mount right there. All right, and we'll also talk about uh, our U-bolts. A little more difficult to see, but I'm touching them right there. Those are U-bolts. Okay, same as before. The front and rear spring mounts and U-bolts are not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Then from there, right here, is my shock absorber. Shock absorber is not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. I hear and see no leaks. Here's our different part right here. These are airbag mounts. The airbag mount, not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, screws. They're top and bottom. All right, then we go to the airbag itself. Airbag is not rubber, so it's not cut, frayed, dry, rotted, or bulging. And I hear and see no leaks. That completes the suspension. We did the brakes. So now, we're going to continue on this axle and hit our tire. First of all, there is no uneven tread wear. The tread depth on this tire is no less than 230 seconds. Uh, the side of my tire is not cut frayed, dry rotted, or bulging. It is filled to the proper pressure, which is 100 PSI. I'm going to check that with a tire pressure gauge through the valve stem. The valve stem itself is not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Now, these tires are a little bit different than our steer tires. We have two sets called duals, so they are properly spaced. And there's no debris in between. All right, working our way out again. This is our rim. The rim is not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. There are no holes or wells other than factory. These are my lug nuts and studs. All right, lug nuts and studs are not bent, broken, and cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Uh, I see uh, no signs of running rust. That would indicate a loose lug nut. Now this is our axle seal. Up front on the steer was a hub. This is our axle seal. It's the only place you're gonna find it. All right, our axle seal is not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's filled to the proper level because I see in here no leaks. All right, we have worked this all the way out. Next, we're gonna work on the fifth wheel. Uh, and so we were gonna go underneath. This part up here, let me make sure I get it. It's called the apron. And this part over here, right here, that's the fifth wheel deck plate. Apron, deck plate. They both meet together. They're both not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Um, there is no daylight between the apron and the deck plate. And the deck plate is properly greased. Then we're going to come right over here to my fifth wheel release handle. It's not bent, broken, or cracked. I'm missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. And it's in the locked position. From there, I'm going to go to my platform. Right in there. That little kind of triangular piece that's sticking up. So the platform is not bent, broken, or cracked. I'm missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. All right, um, there are no wells other than factory. And our mounting bolts down here that mount the platform to the rail, they are in place. All right, now we're going to come up here and talk about our fifth wheel, our sliding fifth wheel rail. That's this rail right here. All right, that allows the fifth wheel to move. All right, so our sliding fifth wheel rail is not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. 
We have locking pins, three of them. They are in the locked position. They are also in the proper position so that the rear of the tractor does not come in contact with the landing gear in turns. You must say that. Now, we're gonna go underneath and take a look at our uh, kingpin and locking jaws. All right. That right there. Let's see. That I'm touching, that's the locking jaws. All right, and then behind it, a little tougher to see, is the kingpin. All right, they're both not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Uh, the locking jaw is locked around the shank of the kingpin and not the bottom of the head. Okay, you have to say that as well. All right, that concludes my fifth wheel. I'm good there. We're going to come on back. I'm going to hit my uh, brake lights here. Uh, they are not chipped, cracked, or broken, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They are red in color and I see no signs of condensation. While I'm underneath, I'm gonna look straight up. I hope this looks good here. But this is the trailer floor and my cross members. Trailer floor, cross members. They're both not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. I see no uh, holes, I see no wells, other than factory. And then I'm gonna slip my way back out. At this point, we're going to talk about our landing gear. So the whole landing gear is not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. My feet are fully raised. There's no debris on my feet. And my crank handle is in the stowed position. Now we will continue to move down the trailer. And our next stop will be our turn signal marker light. It is not chipped, cracked, or broken. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is amber in color, and I see no signs of condensation. As we continue on. All right, we're gonna look underneath this time. We got a, a couple of new parts, one of them. Here is our trailer release valve. That's what I'm, it's sitting right on top. All right, the trailer release valve. Not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. And I hear and see no leaks because this is an air valve. Then we go up here to my trailer locking pins. All right, and my locking pins are here. You have two on each side and right there. All right, and they are in the locked position. Now, I'm ready to work this axle. And remember what I said, on every axle, there is suspension and brakes. So we're going to work the suspension system here. It's going to be just a little bit different. We're going to start. This is our torque mount. And this is the torque arm. All right, the torque mount and torque arm. They're both not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Then I'm going to step under here. And I'm going to call out. I'm putting my right on it. Let me see. Right there. That's my shock absorber. Remember we talked about that earlier. Not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Here and see no leaks. And we're going to finish up our suspension by coming here to the back. Right up top is our airbag mount. It's not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Then beneath it is my airbag. Not cut, frayed, dry, rotted, right or bulging. I here and see no leaks. That is my suspension. After the suspension, we're going to handle the brake system. The brakes. All right there, that's my brake hoses. They're rubber, they're not cut, frayed, dry, rotted, or bulging. Here and see no leaks. Go straight down to the brake chamber and locking ring. Not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. And I hear and see no leaks. Same deal, behind that, a little bit further back, you see that arm going all the way back. It's slack adjusting and push rod. Not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's at a 90 degree angle with the brakes off. Shouldn't be able to move it more than one inch. And my cotter pin is intact. All right, so then we would look under there again, 
Well, let me get that camera there. And point inside the tire to the brake lining. Brake lining is not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. There's no excessive wear. And there's no oil or grease. Now, going back inside. Pointing at the brake drum. The brake drum is not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Uh, no oil or grease. And no wells other than factory. So that is my brakes, my suspension. Time to work my way out once again to my tire. This tire, no uneven wear, no less than 230 seconds tread depth. Uh, the side of my tire is not cut, frayed, dry rotted, or bulging. It is filled to the proper pressure, which is 100 psi. I'm going to check that with a tire pressure gauge through the valve stem. The valve stem is not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Again, these are dual tires one two so we're going to check in between make sure that there's no debris and that they're properly spaced now we're going to go to our rim the rim is not bent broken or cracked not missing any nuts bolts or screws there are no holes or wells of a in factory these are my lug nuts and studs they're not bent broken or cracked not missing any nuts bolts or screws there's no signs of running rust that would indicate uh, a loose lug nut. And this, once again, is my hub oil seal. Just a refresher on the axle, drive axle up there is an axle seal. Back here and on the steer tire, hub oil seal. Hub oil seal is not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's filled to the proper level because I see in here no leaks. All right, I worked my way all the way out, but wait. There's another tire, another axle. So, we do not have to go back and do everything that we did to check this axle. DMV allows us to do this method, and here it is. I'm going to check my suspension, my brakes, the tire, the rim, the lug nuts and studs, and the hub oil seal just as I did right here okay you do have to call out each part and then say you check it just as you did on the previous tire that takes care of that we're gonna move forward a little bit and go to our mud flat which is not bent broken or cracked I'm missing any nuts bolts and screws we're gonna go to our ABS light all right which is not chipped cracked or broken not missing any nuts bolts or screws amber in color I see no signs of condensation then I'm gonna go to my marker light and I'm going to put that together with my marker light, my clearance light, my three ID lights, and my brake lights. I can put them all together because they're all red in color. They're not chipped, cracked, or broken, not missing any nuts, bolts, and screws, and I see no signs of condensation. Then I'm going to come to the rear of my trailer. I'm going to talk about my trailer door, my trailer door hinges. And I'm also going to go ahead and get my trailer door handles. They're all not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. And they function and open properly. Alright, so that takes care of all of that. We're going to drop right on down to our DOT bumper. The DOT bumper is not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It has DOT tape, which runs the length of the DOT bumper. That DOT tape is not chipped, cracked, or broken. At this time, I'm going to step to this side of the trailer. And I'm going to say I'm going to check this side of the trailer just as I would this other side. Alright, so at this point, we need to go inside and do our in-cab inspection. But, it's very important, this is not just a leisurely walk back up to the uh, cab of the truck. I want you to take your time and take a look at all of the components. Once you learn this pre-trip, and you will, uh, if you miss something and it happens, it will come back to you as you go through and start saying, okay, I'm going to check my axle, make sure I did my brakes, my suspension, my tire, my rim, my lug nuts, my studs, uh, and my hub oil seal. You don't have to say every single thing, but just make certain that you go over the pieces that, hey, I did talk about my uh, trailer valve uh, tandem, sliding tandem valve. I wanted to make sure I talked about that. I want to hit the pins. You want to check it as you're going forward. 
All right, this is a time test. You get 45 minutes. There are sections. We'll go over all of that, but I'm going to teach you how to do the whole thing. We'll practice constantly for 45 seconds. That's the end of this video. Uh, the next one up will be the in-cab inspection.